today, researchers are back in the lab with psychedelics and human subjects. At the University Hospital of Psychiatry in Zurich, Franz Wollenweider and his team are mapping brain activity during altered states. 64 electrodes attached to this subject's scalp will record a thousand images of brain activity per second. We can make brain maps. It's like road maps. We can show the brain process in terms of chemistry, in terms of functions, in terms of a network, how brain areas interact together, how they are connected. These images, combined with PET scans, allow the team to create three-dimensional pictures of a brain on drugs. In the hallucinating mind, psychedelics overstimulate serotonin receptors in the cortex and deep brain structures. Users see images that don't really exist, blurring the line between perception and imagination. His brain is producing that inner experienced image of the world. It can be a little story, a little film, a little, you can see persons or objects. Wollenweider's team has discovered that the brain map of a hallucinating mind will always look the same. But for the user, that little film inside the tripper's head can take many shapes and forms from the sublime to the horrifying. Even an experienced tripper like the dealer Alice can have a bad trip. I was at a psychedelic party and there was a couple hundred people there. I ingested way too much LSD, I feel like. I was eating it and then some of my girlfriends were putting it in our drinks. I felt my, my body dying and myself dying. To find that you don't feel attached to your body, you find frightening. That you um, have lost track of time, you find frightening. I'm so high on LSD and I have no idea where I am. The most horrible nightmare occurring while you're awake. Everything is kaleidoscoping upon itself and I start walking into communities where I are probably not safe communities for me to be alone. As the fear accumulates, it becomes um, terrifying. Tears are pouring down my face. It becomes nightmarish. And I think everyone is out to get me. Everyone is watching me and I'm losing it. If you are not with people you trust and you look at them and they look at you and they seem to be dangerous and truly ignorant, you then can become paranoid, which raises the fear level and which makes you terrified and hoping that it will be over and then it isn't over. It was a terrible experience. I wish that upon no one. It was horrible for me. What does a trip to hell look like inside the mind? Wollenweider's lab has mapped it and it looks like this. The thalamus and frontal limbic structures are working on overdrive. Anxiety is triggered and your sense of self dissolves. Cases of psychotic breakdowns, flashbacks, and severe disorientation have been documented after short-term or even one-time LSD use. And since recreational users have no control over the dosage or purity of black market acid, taking it is playing chemical Russian roulette. 